good afternoon and I hope your 2019 has started off amazing. Um, I would like to know what people's resolutions are. I know ours as a family is to become closer to the Lord um, and I hope that for you as well. There's a lot of ways you can do that. Um, I just taking a little piece of time out, being in quiet, being outside. You can fast, you can read more, um, whatever works for you to become closer to the Lord is always good. Um, so, however, we are here to talk about what worked in 2018, what didn't work in 2018, and what we learned and what we want to improve on for 2019 and what our goals might be. So I want to start with what worked in 2018 for us. Um, we, this is a first time garden, first year garden I mean, and we didn't really have the best soil. Um, tractors, the previous owner would have their pasture mode, and this was the tractor route. So everything was really compacted, real clay. So we didn't make out too great with the uh, garden this year. However, what did work was our blueberries. Our blueberries were awesome. That was our best crop. Um, they, they were a surprise to us because we put them in late the, the, um, the prior winter and we didn't think many would make it. However, they had a great crop. They had plenty of it um, for extra. So that was our best crop. The second best crop was our garlic, which is already grown in our second year garlic. Um, this year we didn't purchase any new bulbs, so that was awesome, and it's already sprouting because Mother Nature doesn't want, doesn't know if it wants to be winter or fall, so I don't know if you can see, I'll try to zoom in, but we already got some garlic sprouts popping up, so I'm excited for that, that's growing. We got two rows of that, we got white garlic and we also got uh, red garlic, so that's going to be great. And what is really awesome is we didn't purchase any new garlic bulbs to plant. We used our extra ones that we produced from last year. Our third best crop was absolutely mind-blowing, was I would say our compost garden. Now this was uh, first year compost just from, from day one when we moved in here a year and a half ago and we're gonna turn it for the third time here shortly but this summer zucchini absolutely exploded from here zucchini and decorative gourds um, the first thing we didn't plan in here until we saw stuff growing so we had volunteer plants growing and so I was like well if that's growing why don't we stick some stick some seedlings in here Let's see what happens and as you saw in previous videos this exploded. So that was mind blowing. That was awesome. We didn't do anything to it. We didn't even water it. And that was, this was great. One thing that worked that was good for us was our egg production. I wouldn't say it was great. It was good. It started off amazing this summer. Then it slowed off near the end. Now it's picking back up again. But, however, it's 2018. What was really good was in the beginning of the year, we had Novagen egg layers from Freedom Range Hatchery. Now, they are good, maybe like first, early second year birds, it comes to find out. Um, they get really ugly looking. They their job is just to lay eggs so they use all their energy to put into that so they're really skinny they're bony they I mean if you want to harvest them after you're not gonna get a lot from them and their feathers just they just like they don't stay in I don't know what it is but right here like this is a great example it's just beat up and it's good I mean, we're getting what we want is eggs. It's, it's not the prettiest bird, but when you at the end of it, what do you want? A pretty bird or food? 
Another thing that went good was allowing our animals to do some of the work for us. Um, like I said in previous videos, this is going to be this spring's garden, and right now the chickens are prepping that. Um, we also have some other paddocks that the goats are on, the, Ber the Kiko goats and our Berkshire pigs. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to get some more Berkshire pigs, so that might just be the big pig area. Um, or using that as a, as a, as a garden as well. Um, one thing, and that's the reason why we got these Kiko goats, was our field. They, ha they are great at brush. We have tons of briars. A previous owner logged it, and what grew back was just junk. Briars, uh, just old vines and whatnot. So they are going to be helping us destroy that. And they already did a great work on a section um, that I've shown you guys in a previous video. So allowing our animals to do the work for us when we can't work, that also went good too. We could do better, but overall 2018, it was good. Now, let's talk about stuff that didn't work, um, which is okay. That's what happens on a farm. You try stuff, it doesn't work. Um, like I said earlier, because this was a first time garden, it wasn't that great. Um, the nutrients wasn't there. The roots weren't able to get deep enough because of that hard, compact soil. And it wasn't the greatest. Some stuff grew, like I said, the zucchinis in the compost garden. However, but in our main garden, it wasn't the best. There, it started to grow and then it failed because what happened was, what I believe, is the roots hit, they grow, but then they, as soon as they hit that rock compacted clay, it had nowhere to go. So it just stopped, used its nutrients, and then it ended up dying. So this year, we're hoping to improve on that. We got a broad fork, we're gonna be broad forking all this, and these chickens have been here since the beginning of fall. So they are working it, they are putting down nutrients. Um, so we are hoping that we have a great improvement in our garden this year. One thing that was a complete failure were the bees. We got them the first day of spring and it was snowing. We didn't think they would make it. They did, which was awesome. And they started off strong. We had them out here in the pasture right there. I took down everything um, because they ended up filling up the two first brood boxes and they started making honey. They were good. When I went to go harvest it, a few days before, I noticed there was nothing flying around. All the bees swarmed away and they took the honey with them. There was nothing but, but wax comb. So, we didn't get no honey this year. Luckily, the bee man, my brother, um, brought some down, and we do have some fresh, uh, fresh raised honey um, from New Hampshire. So that is a very blessing. So we really appreciate that. So as I'm walking around, I'm trying to think of extra stuff to talk to you guys about of what failed, because I want to show you guys not just the successes, but what failed, what we learn, what you guys can learn, and um, it's just great to see the progress though, however. I mean, these Berkshires are huge. They're huge. Uh, last, last year, well actually, the begin actually no, 2018, we had Yorkshire pigs. We ended up feeding them by hand, morning and night. They were bullies. They were mean as soon as we walked into their area trying to knock us down to get the food. These Berkshires, see, I mean, hopefully it got camera right now, but you can walk up to them. I mean, we're petting them. The kids are on them, scratching them. They're arching their backs. They're just absolutely so docile. And they're gonna be scrumptious. So what we did different with these guys is we built an auto feeder. This right now it looks pretty beat up because they're pretty big. We might need to improve on this. This is one thing we might need to improve and make it bigger. Because that door that they flap up, they just rip that off maybe every other day. 
But what's great about this is that they're always feeding. They're not hungry. Um, and I feel it saved us a lot of food because they're not just knocking it down and then trying to look for it. But it's always right there. Whoa. It's always there for them. They come, take a bite, they go and sleep. And it's not just they're gorging, then they sit all day. So this thing was a great improvement for us. The other thing improved was our watering system. Um, last, last For our last pigs, we, had, we would just carry out buckets, drink it. Two seconds in, as soon as we turn our back, they knock it down. We have an auto waterer now. Fill this 35 gallon container up. They have water nipples and they constantly have water. We fill that up probably every other three days and it's worked great. These Berkshire pigs are an ideal breed to raise for meat. Um, they're super docile, they get big fast, and you'll have amazing, amazing food. Another thing that we learned was our fencing system for the pigs. I feel like the pigs, we grew this year so much. Um, our fencing system, we have a double wire strand. They have a, I believe it's 50 by 25 area. It, I think it's bigger, but um, they have this double strand poly wire from Premier One Fencing and it has worked amazing. We had the Premier One pig fencing, the strands, and it worked great. It wasn't big enough. We moved them daily. Um, however, it was a lot of work for four pigs. It, maybe if you had some pigs like the Idaho pasture pigs, it might work a little bit different. But for four Yorkshire pigs to move them twice, we actually moved them twice a day, was a lot of work because they would just, they would destroy and root so much they ended up knocking it down. They would get out, they would hit the garden. They, one of them tore up an apple tree. So we improved so much with pigs, I feel, this year. And when we first did the pigs, I didn't like them. However, I like raising pigs now, just off this system alone. One of the things we need to improve on in 2019 is our pasture management when it comes to water. Um, it is amazing. I read and I heard my father-in-law say that the longest stretch of days we had without rain was 10 days in 2018. That, that's amazing. So it was dry for 10 days. That was the longest time it didn't rain. So I don't know if it's our fault, Mother Nature's, but half of our pasture is wet. It is wet. There are pools of water, as you can see. So we either need to figure out and put some drains in here to lead to our creek. Um, build a better way to build our soil would be running animals through here. And maybe they would do natural um, drains for us. But we need to sit down and really look at the way we have our pasture when it comes to water. Because if we want to grow cows on here, raise cows, I mean, um, they would just tear this up. They would just tear this up. They would sink down. Um, and not be able to eat great, gra great growing grass that our chickens put nitrogen in, nitrogen in to grow. So this is one thing we need to work on in 2019. Overall, I think we had an amazing 2018. Um, we learned a lot. We had a lot of successes. We also had a lot of failures. Um, we are we have two families under one roof. Um, in today's society. You don't hear that. We have eight 
kids six and under in this house. We have kids in their terrible twos. We have we have a six year old that thinks he knows everything. We have a lot of things going on. And to be able to live with two families in one fit in one house is amazing. That is a huge success. And what's great about it is we can talk, we can sit down, that's what's most important. When things aren't working, we can hash it out and move on and grow as, as one family unit. However, keeping both of our families separate. So in closing, some of our goals for 2019, some of the things we want to add, some things we want to improve. One, we need to improve our garden. We are doing everything we can to amend this soil. We are broad forking. We got the birds on it. Um, another thing we want to um, bring in on 2019, some more fruit trees, some more fruit bushes. We're going to be looking at more blueberries, more raspberries, um, just getting more fruit from this land. Um, we are hoping we have kids coming in May. We're hoping we have, I, I still haven't looked it up, I hope we're going to have some baby sheep coming here sh shortly come springtime. Um, we're looking to see how the Idaho pasture pig does on our field. Um, we're hoping it has stopped that it grazes like it's supposed to and doesn't root. We're looking to improve our pasture. We're looking to expand the woods to get more pasture. Um, we're looking into greenhouses. There's going to be a lot of stuff moving and the only thing can hold us back is ourselves and time. However, we're going to take one day at a time. We're going to grow as a family and what's most important is that, is that we grow as a family and we move as a family and I think 2019 is going to be amazing. So I hope you guys subscribe to our page, like, share, um, do whatever you can to get the name out. And we really appreciate the people that watch this. It's not huge, I get that, but you know, it, that's not that's what that's not what's important. It's about you know camaraderie, being able to have family feedback. And if you guys see something, leave a comment. You know, let me guys know what your New Year's resolutions are and maybe put some ideas of what you guys want to see um, on our farm. If you guys want to see some more of the woods, let me know and I'll sure to show you. So we want to thank you for watching and again, please subscribe.